Hey, good morning to you. Jesus is Lord. <clears throat> I got to put something else in there today. The devil is defeated. That means he's destroyed. And thank God the word works. I mentioned to you yesterday that in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, it says, for this purpose, for this reason, or the intent thereof. See, I've got my computer on this morning. I want to read a couple of these words right out of the Greek. For this purpose was the Son of God. Jesus was manifested. He came onto the earth. He, he appeared. He got here. But the purpose for that was that he might destroy the works of the devil. Now, let me turn over here and read this to you because it is so powerful. The word destroy here, watch this, when it says that he came to destroy the works of the devil. The word destroy literally means to loosen. I love that. To loosen, to break up, or uh, to dissolve, or to destroy. So Jesus came to dissolve the devil. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Now, I get tired of going to different meetings. Of course, I, I travel all over and preach in a lot of different places. But a lot of times, they give more power to the devil to harm you than they do to God to deliver you. I remind you that he that's within me is greater than he that's within the world. So let's look at those two words. Greater, that means better than this one that's defeated. You see, Jesus made a show of the devil openly on the earth. I mean, they tried to kill Jesus two or three times, but they couldn't until he let them. When he went into hell, they couldn't hold him there. He grabbed the keys to death and to hell and the grave. So all the times that the devil tried to destroy Jesus, he came to him in Luke chapter 4 and tried to tempt him into not obeying God and not doing what he was called to do. But yet that didn't work either because Jesus kept quoting the word, just like you and I can. <clears throat> and I like this scripture over in 1 Corinthians, I believe it's chapter 10, verse 13, that says there has no weapon that's formed against you, that's Isaiah, that will prosper. But then in 1 Corinthians, it says, uh, there's no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. So the devil is not a supernatural being. He lost his supernatural stuff, and he's a natural being. But it says, but God is faithful, who will with the temptation send the way of escape. I, was, uh, I went to a conference the other day, and it started out with, well, you know, I've been sick for two years, or, well, you know, the devil's tried to destroy my church, or, or, well, you know, that was a preacher's conference, or, well, you know, everybody having a hard time, or so hard to serve God. And I went to say, wait, 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 wait. I thought the devil was destroyed, <clears throat> dissolved, loosened, done away with. Well, if he's dissolved and loosened, he can't do nothing to you. I'll say it like I did yesterday. I got put in jail in, in Cuba years ago for preaching the gospel. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong except preach the gospel, but that was wrong to them. And for two days, I was interrogated. And for two days, I was uh, uh, even body searched once and, and, you know, said a lot of things about what I did. But I was delivered. God delivered me. Now, I am not worried at all today about what the government in Cuba is doing. I don't care what they think about me. I am in a free country. I'm delivered. I'm out of there. I am here. There's nothing they can do to me, and I'm not sitting around worried. Oh, well, you know, the government of Cuba is liable to try to get me again. They can't because I've been delivered. Well, the devil can't get you because you have been delivered. He's loosened. He's broken up. Up. He's destroyed. There's nothing he can do to you. Quit praising him and start praising God. Hey, I got to go. Have a great day. And you remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.